In this video, you will learn my top three ways to get noticed as a graphic designer with no following and starting from zero. These strategies are how you can get boosted up in credibility and get an influx of clients really fast. Hello, I'm Lauren with For The Creatives, where I help graphic designers go from undervalued and having inconsistent clients to a profitable design business that you can truly be proud of. The first way that I'm gonna talk about is to look on Instagram for the hashtag of your chosen niche. So if your clients were real estate agents, for example, it would be hashtag real estate. Look for an industry leader who is followed by your ideal client. So in this case, real estate agents. You wanna find Instagram accounts that have a good amount of followers and a high number of engagement. Around one to 3% of their follower count that generally likes their posts is a good standard. So for example, if they had 100,000 followers, the average likes of their posts should be about 1,000. Then you wanna reach out to them through email or direct message, telling them something you like about their business and that you feel you could add something of great value to their audience by creating a guest post. They will then take it, post it, and tag you, allowing you to reach a whole new audience this way and start getting your name out there. The second one I wanna tell you about is my favorite, and that is being a guest on a podcast. So what you wanna do is research an industry leader with a podcast in the industry you have chosen as your niche. I would find a bunch of them, at least 10 if you can, and listen to at least one episode from each of these podcasts before you write to the person so that you can really speak honestly about their podcast. Let them know what value you can add to their audience and the subject matter that you would like to be interviewed about. Once one of them agrees, they will let you come up with the podcast interview questions. So that way you can really practice with your friend or partner so that when it comes time to actually do the podcast, you're gonna feel more natural. It's not gonna be just off the cuff. So you have to remember you are just talking to another person and don't get too nervous about it. There's no better way for potential clients to get to know you than hearing your voice or seeing you in a video if the podcast is also a YouTube video, as was the case when I was interviewed on one. So this has been the way I have seen a huge influx of clients with such minimal amount of work. I really suggest you check that one out. The third and final one that I wanna tell you about is to become a guest on a blog. So this works similarly to the prior two that I mentioned in that you need to find a blog that is read by your ideal clients. Then you wanna read through their blogs and see how you can fit in with their writing style. Write to them first, mentioning one of the blogs that they wrote and why you enjoyed it and how you would like to add value to their audience by writing about a specific subject. Don't get intimidated about writing. It's just like having a conversation and blogs actually do better when they're not super formal. So give a topic that addresses a pain point for your ideal client and that's gonna genuinely help that industry leader's followers and readers. This generally gets emailed to their list, which could be upwards of thousands of your ideal client right there. When you find someone who has followers that already trust them and then they endorse you through letting you do a guest post, doing a blog or being interviewed on their podcast, this gives you an automatic word of mouth from the industry leader and shoots you way up the authority ladder really quickly. So go out and apply these three tips and you will see yourself getting noticed more and more by the type of clients that you want to attract. And make sure you don't miss out on my downloadable guide to help you double your design clients. That's in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed, definitely do that and share this video with any friends that would benefit. I will see you next time.